In the post-9-11 era, certain risks are unacceptable. The United States made our position clear. We could not accept the grave danger of Saddam Hussein and his terrorist allies turning weapons of mass destruction against us or our friends and allies. And gradually, we are learning the details of his hidden weapons program. Ladies and gentlemen, each and every one of these findings confirms a material breach by the former Iraqi regime of UN Security Council Resolution 1441. Taken together, they constitute a massive breach of that unanimously passed resolution and provide a compelling case for the use of force against Saddam Hussein. Some claim we should not have acted because the threat from Saddam Hussein was not imminent. Yet, as the President has said, since when have terrorists and tyrants announced their intentions, politely putting us on notice before they strike? I would remind the critics of the fundamental case the President has made since September 11th. Terrorist enemies of our country hope to strike us with the most lethal weapons known to man. And it would be reckless in the extreme to rule out action and save our worries until the day they strike. We're going after the terrorists wherever they plot and plan. More than a dozen Security Council resolutions. That is the debate. That is the choice set before the American people. And as long as George W. Bush is President of the United States, this country will not permit gathering threats to become certain tragedies.